Hello, everyone. You're listening to Alternative Revelations with Linda Emanuel. And this is podcast number 112. And I must give you this warning if this resonates with you. So be it. If not, just disregard it. And I am going to uh, tell you the hot spots and the safe zones in the state of New York. And I'm going to start with New York City. And I am learning my geography. So there's only I'm going to give you the safe spots first because those are the ones I want you to remember. On Long Island, the only safe counties are Nassau and Suffolk. Those are the only two counties on Long Island that are safe. Now we're getting tricky. I had mentioned before that Manhattan was a safe zone, but that wasn't correct. Uh, North Manhattan and mid Manhattan are going to be hot zones. The only safe zones in uh, Manhattan are south of East Village and south of Washington Square Park. These are anything south of that is safe. These are the safe zones below Washington Square Park and below East Village. East Village is a hot spot. Washington Square Park is a hot spot. Uh, lower Manhattan's a safe zone. Tribeca, uh, Spirit's telling me that's a safe zone. Uh, Williamsburg Bridge, that area is safe. And the area around Brooklyn Bridge is safe. So lower Manhattan below uh, south of East Village and south of Washington Square Park. They're going to be safe zones. And here we go. Some more of New York. Um, there's a highway called Highway 22 that runs just below Wakefield across Woodlawn Heights all the way over through Pelham Manor. Now, Highway 22 seems to be this cutoff where the 5G is. So I'm going to make it simple. Anything south of 22 is a hot zone. Anything north of 22 is a safe zone. Village of Pelham is safe, but Pelham Manor is hot. New Rochelle is safe. So draw that line on 22 all the way across, and that seems to be a boundary for the 5G underground. So anything north of there, like Yonkers, uh, Bronxville, uh, Tucka, how do you say that, Tuckahoe, uh, all those um, north are going to be safe zones. Anything south of 22 in that area is hot. City Island, Rikers Island, those are all safe zones for New York. So I think that covers or rounds up New York City. And what's surprising is that Albany, the, the city of Albany, is going to be targeted with the 5G. And I believe that's the capital of New York. And I'll cover Albany at the very end. And there's two other cities inside uh, New York State that are going to be targeted. One of them is Buffalo, and then the other one is Syracuse. And I'm going to start with Buffalo. It's a little bit easier. Uh, Buffalo is kind of like Phoenix. They mapped it out. They mapped the 5G underground fiber optics like they did in Phoenix. They used the highways for boundaries, and here goes. Now, Buffalo has some um, major highways going around it, and it seems like the, the highways are the perimeters. Now, I'm looking at a Buffalo map right now, and um, uh, Spirit is telling me the entire Delaware Park is going to be a safe zone. Uh, the town of Elmwood Village is a hot spot. Round Buffalo Museum of Science is a hot spot. Allentown is a hot spot. This is all inside of Buffalo. Uh, Sloan is a hot spot. Pine Hill is a hot spot. Now that there's a town called Kaiser Town, which is south. It looks like it's south of Highway 190. That's actually a safe zone. Cheektowaga is a safe zone. Cleveland Hill is safe. Black Rock is safe. Okay, so here's the perimeters of Buffalo. Uh, there's 190 is on the west, and it uh, goes from north and kind of wraps around from the west to the east. Anything inside the perimeter um, going east and north of 190, this is all a hot zone. Uh, then when it hits, um, it hits a highway 90, and that is a perimeter. It uh, anything north of 190 and 90 is a hot zone. Then 90 wraps up and it's going from south to north. Anything west of 90 is a hot zone. Anything east of 90 is a safe zone. Then when 90 hits, uh, hits 33 and it looks like 277, 
uh, the perimeter veers off to the west. So anything north um, northeast of 33 and 90 is a safe zone. So 33 is a perimeter. Anything south of 33 is a hot zone, including Pine Hill and Sloan. Anything north of 33 is a safe zone, which is some a town called Cleveland Hill. And then 33 is going west, and it hits. Uh, looks like it hits Highway 190. Anything north of this is a safe zone. And in, in fact, all of Delaware Park is a safe zone for some reason. And you know any. And you know trees stop the 5G. But in, inside this perimeter of this highway that surrounds Buffalo, this is all a big hot zone. And anything outside of the the perimeter of 190, uh, 33. 90 these are all inside the perimeter is a hot zone and now i'm going to go on to syracuse and i also would like to mention that spirit is telling me that they might block these highways getting out of these towns locking people in so you know if you have a bicycle keep the uh, bicycle tires pumped up you might be able to uh, escape the hot zones on a bicycle so now on to a really tough city syracuse so here goes with Syracuse. This was a very tricky, uh, a very tricky uh, map. I'm pulling, I'm looking at the map right now. And if you want to follow along, Google map of Syracuse. Okay, here we go. Here's Syracuse. This was a tricky, tricky, tricky um, four, 5G layout. So I'm going to start at the, at 12 o'clock. I'm going to say 12 o'clock is my starting point and it's at Cicero and Cicero is on highway 31 so this whole area uh, 81 goes from south to north and it goes from Mattydale uh, through north uh, Syracuse up to Cicero and before I forget Cicero is safe anything and then highway 90 is like horizontal going from uh, east to west so anything north of 90 east of 81 all the way up to 31 that is all safe zone it's called cicero swamp wildlife management area but that's all from mattydale is a hot zone north syracuse is a hot zone but anything east of mattydale running all the way up to cicero to the east and above and north of highway 90 is a safe zone then from uh as we go down um I want you to, um, there's a city called Kirkville that is a hot zone. And then there's North Chittenango. Well, you got to draw an imaginary line between Kirkville and North Chitten Chittenango because there is some kind of a, that's where the cutoff is. And the, the imaginary 5G line goes down where I'm going to, I don't know if I'll pronounce this city right, but my Cerne, M-Y-C-E-R-N-A-E. -E. That's a hot zone, but Chittenanga is not a hot zone. It's a safe zone. So somewhere there's an imaginary uh, boundary of the 5G. Now trace the line down between Fayetteville and Manilius. There's a uh, 5G cutoff between Fa Fayetteville and Manilius. And Manilius is safe, but Fayetteville is hot. Then come on over to uh, go down to Janesville. Janesville is the boundary. Janesville is hot, but south of Janesville is safe. Then go all the way over to down a little bit to Nedro. Nedro is hot, but anything south of Nedro is safe. Okay, from Nedro, I want you to follow uh, going from south to north. I want you to follow Highway 11, that's the boundary for the 5G, all the way up to Highway 173 going west. That's another boundary going into Onondaga Hill. That's a boundary line. Anything south of Onondaga Hill is safe. Anything north is hot. And keep moving over 173, uh, Onondaga College is hot. Follow 173 all the way to Split Rock, which is hot. Anything west of Split Rock is safe. And following 173 up, then following Highway 173 north, you'll hit Fairmount. And the whole area of Fairmount is a hot spot, but yet Camellias is safe. Then 
following uh, 173 up, it hits it hits a road called Milton Avenue, and that is a 5G boundary. Uh, and Milton Avenue is going from west to east, and that is a, a boundary. Anything north of Milton Avenue is a safe zone. It's really all gray and green, and it's got New York State fairgrounds temporarily closed it says on the map but following um, Milton Avenue going east that's a boundary so anything south of Milton Avenue like Salve Bay is hot and following Milton Avenue over you'll come to a, a avenue called Hiawatha Road and that's a boundary and that is running from south west to northeast and that's a boundary lakefront's a hot spot anything to the east of hiawatha is hot and then the boundary follows highway 11 going from south to north and anything east of 11 is hot and as 11 runs up it runs into maddie dale and in a way, we've completed a full circle. We started at Cicero, went, went clockwise all the way around Syracuse, ended up going up um, 173 to Milton Avenue to Hiawatha to Maddie Dale, and then on up north, North Syracuse, all the way to Cicero. North Syracuse is a hot zone. So I'm going to wrap up Syracuse, and this is a very interesting what's coming up here. Um, if you look at if you're looking at the map like I am, um, and you're right at Maddie Dale, and below Maddie Dale to a little bit to the southwest is Galeville, and that's hot. Liverpool is hot, and anything uh, south of 90 as it runs from uh, east to west, anything like Liverpool, that's all hot in there. But this is a very interesting observation. Uh, Highway 11. Uh, starts at the well, 81's running up and kind of veers off highway 11 going through north syracuse and spirit is telling me anything west of 11 and right west of maddie dale it's all safe in there anything north of 90 right there bayberry bayberry somebody very important lives around bayberry they're not there's no 5g set up in that whole bayberry area of course there's a big golf club right there timber banks golf club so i i imagine this is my imagination i'm not getting anything from spirit on this my imagination is somebody very some very important people live in bayberry in syracuse and they're not attacking anywhere in bayberry now seneca knolls you are going to be under attack that is a hot zone so is village green van buren you are safe Baldwinsville, you are safe. So again, you know, there's some very important people living in Bayberry. They're, they're not, there's no 5G. Uh, Spirit is telling me there's no 5G in that Bayberry area where there's a country, uh, exclusive country club. So anything uh, north of 90, boundary 81, 11, uh, south of 481, all the way to uh, Belgium. Belgium, by the way, is safe. That's all a safe zone in there, except Seneca Knolls is not safe, and neither is Village Green. And Baldwinsville is safe. Van Buren, you're safe. So that about wraps up uh, Syracuse, which was really tough. The boundaries were really tough there. And I also want to mention, you know, a lot of these zoos aren't targeted, but if the zoo is very small, it's going to be affected by the 5G eventually because uh, if you if you try to do sanctuary like I'm getting that Destiny USA that little patch there by the by the um, southeast corner of that Onondaga Lake that's a safe zone but it's a very small area and it might not be um, a large enough area to protect yourself. And now the last city in New York that will be under attack starting in October is Albany, the capital. And here goes. And I did a little research on uh, Albany and who the governor is. And you all know who the governor is if you live in New York. And I asked Spirit if the governor is going to be, is, resides in Albany. And the answer was no. The governor lives in a safe zone on a Long Island. I'm not going to say which county, but he does live in a safe zone. Isn't it interesting that these important people who are um, in the club, they live in a safe zone. 
So Albany is going to be really simple. It's a, a, not a very large town. And it's, it's like Phoenix and also like Buffalo. The perimeter are highways. And uh, Highway 81 is a perimeter. 787 is a perimeter. Highway 90 is a perimeter. And there is a highway called 85, a perimeter. So Albany is like in a square. And all that area, Pine Hills... Arbor Hill, Albany, Albany, these are all going to be a hot zone. And Albany, uh, to the east of Albany, is a river. So Albany is going to be under attack in October. And I doubt if the governor will be residing in the mansion. He's residing in a safe zone on Long Island. And now I'm going to continue with New Jersey. And there are two cities in New Jersey that are going to be under attack, Hoboken, Hoboken and Hackensack, and here goes. And I'm going to start off with Hoboken, which is right across the river from Manhattan. Very interesting that this whole entire New York City area is going to be under attack. And I'm going to keep this really, really simple. Um, the area across the river from New York City, the northernmost boundary is going to um, be in West New York. I'm getting told it's like around 60th Street, but that doesn't mean anything above 60th is not a hot zone, you know, because the radiation can um, spread. So uh, you take 60th Street and go all the way over to Highway 9. It's pretty simple here. You go all the way down 9 going south. That's the boundary. All the way through the Heights, all the way through, all the way down to a highway called 139, and that's a perimeter. And below 139 is a place called Journal Square. That's a safe area. Uh, McGinley Square is safe. Now you you go from the west on 139 towards the river, or towards excuse me, towards the river, and you'll travel east along 139. Now another, then you'll come to a highway called 78, and you go down. That's a boundary. And inside that, uh, east of that, is historic downtown, Newport, Jersey City. These are all danger. Uh, these are all hot spots. Hoboken, not only Hoboken, the Heights, um, all of these, Union City, all the way, all the way up north to West New York, just a little bit above New York. But that's a hot. West New York's a hot zone. Now I notice there's a lot of, uh, there's a huge park down here called Liberty Science Center, Liberty State Park. That might be a great refuge to go to if you live in that area of Jersey City and Hoboken across from um, Manhattan. So now we're going to go on to Hackensack. So Hackensack had some interesting um, demographics with it. There's one town around uh, all, all surrounded by 5g but and I will reveal what that part of the 5g area is at the end but first let's go up to uh, if you want to follow along with this go to Google and Google map of Hackensack and I'm on the map right now and uh, you want to uh, the northern boundary of this 5g right at Hackensack there's a look on the northeast corner of Hackensack, Hackensack River County Park. That's a sanctuary. And the northern boundary for Hackensack is Highway 4. So anything north of Highway 4 is safe. And then to the west of Hackensack is Highway 17, and that's a boundary. But uh, Rochelle Park is still uh, in danger. Um, so is Maywood. And then you travel down 17 and you'll get to uh, 46 and you veer east and that's a boundary and you veer over 46 and you pass Little Ferry. Little, the entire area of Little Ferry is a hot zone and it ends at a street called Washington Avenue and below that is, I don't, I don't know if I'll pronounce this right, Munachi. That's a safe zone. All inside this perimeter here is a safe zone. So then you travel over 46 to Highway 9, and that's a boundary. And <clears throat> Palisade Park, you are a hot zone. Uh, Fort Lee, you are a hot zone. Um, like I said, Highway 4 is a boundary. 
So everything inside this boundary uh, south of four is a, is a hot zone. It's pretty straightforward, <clears throat> excuse me. And you travel south down Highway 9. Richfield's hot, Edgewater is hot, Cliffside Park, you're hot, Fairview Height, Fairview, you're hot, North Bergen, you're a hot spot. This is where it starts getting really interesting. And if you remember uh, the city before this one, where the northern um, perimeter was, I think it was 60th Street, went over to JFK Boulevard. Well, that's uh, West New York is a partial hot, hot spot. But there's an area right above uh, West New York that's called, and I don't know if I'll pronounce this right, okay? I'll spell it G-U-T-T-E-N-Berg, Guttenberg or Gutenberg. That is a safe zone. Somebody very prominent with a, in the club lives in that area. That is a safe zone. Guttenberg or Gutenberg, one of those. So that wraps up this whole New York City area, uh, Hoboken and Hackensack, right across the river. Uh, it's very, very interesting what parts of these hot zones are safe, where the elite who are in the club reside. So that wraps up uh, this podcast about New York and New Jersey hot and safe zones. Um, you might want to think about an escape plan or what you can do if they close off all the highways like they did back in February, March in New York City. Um, it's it's going to be a pretty serious situation. So uh, I'm going to be doing more podcasts on other states. This was quite extensive. I hope it wasn't too extensive. The best thing to do is get a map out and follow it along with me if you're interested. And I will post the minutes where each city is mentioned on this podcast because right now it's at 20, almost going on 23 minutes. And I will post where each city is. So until next time, good night and God bless.